What is going on everyone? I am Nux Pro and we have some more Killzone 3 multiplayer. Right, this is Operations and Frozen Dam. This is not the beta, this is gameplay from the actual game. And I apologize for uploading another Operations on Frozen Dam. But I thought this was a good example of how you should use the Marksman class in Killzone 3. And if you don't know what the Marksman class is, I'll go into a little detail later. But essentially it's your sniper class. And I am using the VC-32 sniper rifle, which is always a one-shot kill. I mean, you can shoot someone in the foot and they're going to go down. And I'm going to warn you now, this is not some optic quick-scoping 360 game. I'm playing as a sniper. You know, not a, a montage maker. But what I'm doing here is... To the left of me, we have the enemy spawn. And if you're gonna take this position, you need to have somewhat quick reflexes because, you know, they can come across there pretty quick. And if you need, to, if you're gonna get that shot, you need to, you know, have a quick reflex. I know the team is the enemy team who's trying to defend their bomb sites or plant sites or whatever are spawning to the left and their only access to defend those bomb sites are this little bridgeway that I'm scoped in on and a bridgeway above me. And I can see both of them. You know, I'm not paying attention to it right now because it seems that they're all using that bridge. And the beauty of it is there's no kill cam, so I could just, you know, keep loading off on these guys and they're gonna <laughs> they have no idea where I am and I Unless they decide to take an alternate roof route, I'm gonna keep killing them. And I don't know why they're not taking an alternate route, but that's... I guess that's a different story altogether. But in this game, if you can pin a team in their spawn, it's very... It's really easy to uh, trap them, and... You know... I mean, that's, that was a trap in itself. The, they spawn, they try to run across the bridge to defend, and I take them out, and... You know, it makes it very difficult for them because they don't know what to do. And if they take the alternate route where I am now, they can enter this area. This is where my team's spawning, and there's always one or two guys that are that are in this area just trying to wait for those guys that are spawning there. And they take them out. Even if they don't take them out, you can see in your mini map and at least be prepared for for the incoming enemy. So we advanced past the first objective. Now I know the enemy team spawns on the roof and they spawn inside that building and on that walkway. So I'm just scoping that area out. And my role is to just get these kills because you get the kill, they have a five second uh, respawn time. They don't spawn for five seconds. And that could be enough time to, for my my infiltrators, my tacticians to run in there and and uh, plant the objectives. So that's the role I think you should take as being a sniper or marksman in this game. And you know this could be boring, but that's this is the way a sniper is supposed to play. And I'm not knocking, you know, montages, quick scoping, or anything. I'm just telling you how I'm playing. Killzone's a more objective game. It's not like, you know, a game like Call of Duty. But more on the Marksman class. The Marksman class, you have two abilities. One is pretty cool. You can become a ghost, pretty much. You can become invisible. The highest per... the highest uh, ability of this cloaking suit is you can stay cloaked uh, indefinitely while firing your weapon. If you damage an enemy player or move around, this will cause your cloak to like ripple. But wounding enemies and killing enemies will disable the cloak unless using a silenced weapon. So pretty much you're somewhat invisible when taking your role as a sniper. Which I so far I don't find it to be the biggest deal. Um, every once in a while it is because if you take down one guy, 
Well, let's put it this way. If you're in a good spot, the cloaking, you know, you still need to use it, but it's really not as necessary as, you know, you would think. It sounds cooler than what it really is. And I'm just going to speed through this to get you to our next game, which we are on defense. So, and I'll show you the tactics I use for defending. So yeah, that's your, you have your cloak system. It can be very beneficial, but I feel like if you have such a good spot, there's no kill cams, they should be able to see you anyway. But there can always be that one guy that just looked over after you killed someone. So, the cloaking will definitely help. And our second ability is, it's basically a jammer. I mean, there's not much else to say. It jams a radar within, what is it? 15, medi 15 meters so you know if you're playing that defensive role and you're on top of a building let's say and the objectives downstairs it could be you know it could baffle the opponent definitely more so in this game I think is I've dealt with jammers and oh look that's nice when you actually actually have engineers repairing uh, ammo boxes but yeah it could it definitely throws you off because I know when I have been uh, trying to uh, do some objectives in some games, I've been the jammer comes on. You know, it's 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 not you know totally crippling my my game style or anything, but like it is it's it is annoying. <laughs> so you know, it's kind of cool. On to weapons. The sniper can use the Sta 14 rifle, which is. I hate comparing to the other games out there, but uh, kind of like an FAL mixed with like a sniper rifle. Just think of like an ACOG. Uh, what do you call it? The last sniper rifle in Modern Warfare 2, the M21, I think. Kind of like that. Uh, it's usually a two-shot kill. So you know, it, it's a it's a it's a good weapon. I know some people can't take the these semi-automatics, but it's definitely a good weapon, but it definitely is not as good as the sniper rifle I have here, the uh, VC-32, and that's your last unlock. In the middle, you can use the STA-52 assault rifle, which is uh, a pretty powerful assault rifle, and you know, even though the marksman is a sniper class, you can still run an assault rifle. Now, when picking your, your skill, I would actually use the the armor shouldn't be a, a problem because if you're in a good spot away from the enemy the only way you should die is by another sniper and you're gonna die one shot regardless if you have ar armor or not and silent footsteps I don't think is a big deal in this game because it's so noisy so I would say carry a secondary you have your VC sniper rifle, if, and if your secondary is uh, the Sta 52 assault rifle, you can take both rows. You can be rolls. You can be a sniper. You can you can do the objective. You can still run and gun and not have to worry about your pistol letting you down. So that's what I would pick. If you don't want to use your uh, a primary as your secondary. There's some pretty good secondary options. You have your Sta 18 pistol, which is your normal pistol. You have the VC8 shotgun, which is like a shotgun pistol. It's usually like two shots or something like that. Uh, one at really close range. And then you have the M66 machine pistol, which is a silenced uh, pistol with a reflex sight, which is pretty cool. So it just you know, it depends on your preference if you want the machine pistol or the Sta 52. But this is... Is this winding now? It is. And I hope you didn't think this was boring, but you know, in an objective game, this is how a sniper is supposed to be. So, I was just showing you some two flawless games, I think. And I go and I get over 10 in each game. Not a million kills, but you know. That's my role as a sniper. I feel like a sniper has those few important shots that matter the most instead of having just, you know, 30 kills. But I 
hope you enjoy. We're going to continue with Killzone 3 and some more zombie action because Ascension is going to come out for PlayStation 3, so I'll probably do some games with my teammates because on the Xbox I only went solo on the solo strategy video. So I hope you enjoyed. If you want more Killzone 3, please give it a thumb up and I'll see you guys later.